Welcome to the First Making YouTube channel and today we're doing something that's a little bit crazy um, which I am so excited about. So we are creating monster claws. <laughs> so Adam is um, shooting a film and in the film there's a monster and it requires some claws. So who else is he going to get to make the claws? Other than me. Exactly. Because if you did them, well, I don't know, they might look a bit mm, of a monstrosity. Yeah, they would definitely you be didn't. monstrosity. 100%. <laughs> no, I'm not making them, but yeah, to, to be honest, the guys who were doing the, the monster suit were going to do them, and I was like, no, 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 no. If somebody's going to do claws, it's definitely going to be Kirsty. And then we can put it on this channel. So. Yeah, I can show you. Yeah. So it's quite cool because there's different like, areas to the nail industry. and creating nails for um, movies, for music videos, fashion shoots, it, you know, there's such a big variety. So we just thought it'd be really cool to show you um, how we create monster claws. So, I want you to tell me exactly, you know, tell me a bit about this monster and what it's going to kind of look like and what it does because um, obviously it's going to have these monster claws, but what does this monster use, use his claws for? Right, so the monster is based on Alien, so we're sort of going with the vibe of, you know, bones and that sort of structure with the suit and the face mask. Yeah. The bones are going to be hopefully extendable, but that will be adjusted with CGI. So yeah. there's a scene where you can see them kind of clawed and then they get larger for like the whole tearing the person apart. Right. And yeah, yeah basically basing the design on Alien and trying to make it more bony, structure, skinny, tall. Yeah, creature. right. I get you. So, okay. So very long, pointy, um, bony looking. Um, so, what about underneath the nails? Do you want underneath the nails to be, um, curved? Do you want them to be a darker colour so they add dimension or? Yes, it'll be fantastic to get them kind of like, like a claw looking. So they're not straight like a normal nail, they kind yeah. of bend. They sort of, yeah, yeah, underneath. yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And underneath it'll nice to have them dark so because the actual scenes are going to be quite dark and in shadows it's going to create a nice depth to them yeah cool oh i'm excited i'm excited <laughs> oh, i love doing stuff like this i said to adam oh i could just do stuff like this all the time because you know it, when you do something that's a little bit different and i suppose you find that yourself like with your makeup and things like that when you're doing things that are you know different all the time it just keeps you creativity going doesn't it yeah 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 so i'm, I'm excited yes cool. let's crack on then sorry to interrupt for those of you that don't know me i'm adam i'm the cameraman um this video was actually filmed back in june 2021 these claws videos that uh, that you, you're gonna see um and the reason we've hung on to it for so long was because i mentioned the crowdfund campaign for our film law um in this video and we thought we were going to get the crowdfund campaign done in like july august september last year but it's took until now to actually launch it um and one of the perks for the crowdfunder was actually the set one of the set of claws that kirsty's gonna make in this video um so we did have to hang on to it um and we also want to maximize our audience um so by tapping into to, to you big nail fans, um, we feel that we can hopefully hit our target um, and and be able to get to finish this movie. Uh, it's been a labour of love. Um, it's been horrendous at times, um, but now we're, we're very we're also close to to getting it done. Um, so there's going to be a link somewhere, probably up here, or it'll be down in the description box. Um, and if you'd be so kind, uh, if you've enjoyed. The banter that I have with Kirsty over the years and that kind of stuff. Um, please donate. You know, you can do anything you want, any amount you want. A dollar, a pound, ten, 
you can get an executive producer credit for £4,000 if you want. Um, I'm not telling anybody to do that. But you can actually get yourself this set of claws that Kirsty's going to make in this video. So if you can, donate. If you can't, share it. If you can do both, brilliant. Um, I'll be eternally grateful. Um, and, and you might get to see the film early. You might get posters, all that kind of stuff. So um, thank you for listening to me. And uh, get back to the... The real stuff that you're here for now, so see you later. Thank you. There you are, done. <laughs> <laughs> Finished. <laughs> That's the worst joke in the world. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I, I've, I've got the I've got the brief. I can get cracking. Um, I've got some ideas, and yeah, hopefully them. You'll love them. So, I've got a long tip. These long tips are red, red, readily available on. Amazon, eBay, you know, all those places. Um, they aren't like, they aren't an amazing nail. You wouldn't use them for like press-ons or anything like that, really. They are just a basic, really long nail. But we're going to actually use this as our base platform. And we're going to build on the nail. Do you like how I say we? I'm only talking about me because I'm the only person doing the nails. But, you know. <laughs> Right, I'm going to get some gloves on. I need gloves because of the way that I'm sort of planning to do it. So we've got the brief. We're going to crack on with how we're going to do it. So I want to buff this nail because the product that I'm going to put on, I want it to stick to the nail. So I need to buff it just to make sure it's got like a key and an abrasion on there. I'm not worried too much really about the shape because it's going to be changed a little bit. One thing I am going to do is just get a 240 grit file and just key that even more. I'm going to be using the Jalica acrylic gel. I need a solution that will enable me to pull a brush across it and not stick to the product. So we're going to be using the Jalica prep and cleanse. It really doesn't matter what colour you actually do this. Honest to God, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get this nail and secure it onto the end of a brush. I want something that's quite long, so I'm using a brush. And I'm going to squeeze out a lot of product. I'm going to use the Brendette brush. This is our gel brush. Right, so I'm just getting that cuticle area a little bit neat. The good thing about this look is it doesn't need to be neat. Oh my God, what a godsend. So I'm dipping my brush into the solution and then you'll notice as I press it, it doesn't stick. Now I'm just going to create like a little kind of fold here. Like that. And then we're going to come down and I'm going to create two little dents here. This is just basic at the minute. And then here I want another little dent here and here kind of like I'm imagining you know like the spine like a spiny bony thing this is what my head's visualizing so that's a basic shape what you can do now is put your fingers with gloves on into the IPA so whatever your cleanser or isopropyl alcohol put your fingers in it yeah don't do this on a living person this needs to be done on a tip and I'm going to slide up and down the nail to create this little spine yeah so we've got a bit of a spine going on we want these little dents I'm going to make sure everything kind of connects got the gelica lamp and I'm going to hold it here first because I want it to set a little bit before I put it in and I want to see how it curves a little bit at the end I want that to do that I'm going to clean my brush reshape the brush then you'll need an electric file and I'm going to be using the gold rose gold sorry debulk bit and I'm going to be using the secret weapon with acrylic gel sometimes it can like it'll cure 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 and then you'll get to the very center and it'll still not be cured so make sure you know it's fully cured I'm going to wipe off the sticky layer with the 
prep and cleanse. So it does have a sticky layer. You'll know when you've got rid of that sticky layer because it'll go matte. So I'm just going to tuck in here and here into these little sort of nooks and come slightly off to kind of sharpen this little bit of a spine here. And then the same in here, sort of tuck in. And then we're going to come straight down the side, nice and flat. Other side. So this monster like rips people from limb to limb. I don't think I like this monster. <laughs> well, he's not a very nice monster. Um, it's, it's an interesting one, this one, because like. So you don't see it very much. Right. Like on the first kill, you, you you see sort of like maybe some flashes of the claws hitting the guy, mm. and 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 you might see the monster's feet. On the second one, you do get to see a bit more. Like the second kill, you get to see a bit more of the monster. Yeah. But it's still really really hidden in the shadows. Um, and then on the third one. You get to see a bit more, but it's like kind of. I'm not going to spoil the film for anybody. I don't want to spoil it, you know. So yeah, the, the, you get to see a bit more, but yeah. Anyway, but yeah, he's definitely not a nice monster. Not like Monsters Inc. Then. No, definitely not Monsters Inc. Yeah, no kids watching this one. <laughs> I mean, the film itself's like a. It's a. It's what's called an anthology. So it's. An anthology? Yeah, so the, the film itself is called Law, L-O-R-E, is in like folklore. And it's, right. about, it's about these four young people who go to the woods with for this sort of like ghost excursion type thing. They're a bit daring and that kind of yeah. thing. So they meet this old guy in the woods and this, they build a campfire. It's like a camping weekend, but it's all about horror. Right. And the, 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 the old guy gets them to burn a totem. A what? A totem. What's a to totem? Like a wooden statue thing. Right. Yeah, and then then they've got to um, tell a story. The scariest story they know. Okay. So the first, first story is a ghost story. The second story is a monster story, which is this one. Mm -hmm. The third one is like an occult type story. Oh, so each one is like a different film? Yeah, so each one's a different film. Are they like then, are they short films? How long the films? Yeah, so they're like 20, 20 minutes each, Yeah. roughly. Um, a couple of them are longer, a couple of them are a bit shorter. Like this one's a little bit shorter than the rest. Mm -hmm. um, it's very fast paced and yeah. like a lot of uh, running around and stuff. Where the other ones, some of them are long and drawn out. Yeah. And then the last one's a slasher film. So we've shot two of them already. Yeah. Then we're shooting this one, obviously, next month, or this month, sorry. Um, and then we've got the bookend to shoot, and also the occult horror. Um, so we're hoping to get them all done by July, mm -hmm. so that we can hopefully have it all ready for festivals towards the end of the year, and try and sell sell it towards the end of the year. Oh, know? so that's what you do when you go to festivals, you sell the, you sell the film? Yeah, you want to get people interested and see if there's somebody who'll buy the film. Still trying to raise money on this one. Yeah. Um, How are you doing that then? Well, are you doing like car washes and things? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But um, 
Well, actually, I might, it might come to that, you never know. <laughs> um, so I've invested quite a bit of money in this one. Mm-hmm. We've got an investor as well. We are going to do a crowdfund yeah. for the final part and the post-production because, believe it or not, even though you do like a lot of different sort, like you do a lot of these SF, like special effects, mm-hmm. which is this kind of stuff, Yeah. like you do some have to sometimes support it with VFX, which is like visual effects or like CGI. Yeah. So even though we'll we'll have like, for instance, practical blood on set on the day, you'll also like have a digital artist put some digital, extra. yeah, just a bit extra. Bit extra. You know, because you don't want to spray blood all over a cinema, like, well, we no. want, which you will see in the film. Take a lot clean up there. Well, exactly. We, so we shot in the audience. There's a quite a lot of blood, but we don't want it. It just costs a fortune to clean it all up. Mm-hmm. So we do as little as we can to make it effective, and then we put loads of CGI stuff in. Right. Well, that's the, um, that's the way it works, though, isn't it? Nowadays? It is, yeah. Every yeah, single yeah. film you see, you'll do that. So mm-hmm. we'll actually be running the crowdfunder. Um, yeah. It, to be honest, it might be up by the time this, this video goes mm-hmm. up. Um, so I'll link it below and see yeah, if people yeah. want to get involved. Cool. Um, and we might actually have maybe just a set of these as, as the... As oh, the, do you like a the, prize? Yeah, as the perks. Because basically, if, yeah. you, if you join in a crowdfunder, let's say you give us £50, yeah. we'll give you a poster or a DVD copy. Oh, so or, they'll get something for putting... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's you, good. You get to sort of like part, part invest of in it, but you also get something back. Yeah. It'll be small things, but I'm thinking, how about we give away some of these... Uh, Nails. Yeah. I don't want to give them away, if I'm honest. But <laughs> if it gets money for your film, then I might, you know. Right. Well, there's two hands, so you can <laughs> yeah. have one hand. We'll yeah. Give away another hand. I'll give away the other. I'm going to come in here. Just to make this a little bit deeper. I love this bit. It's one of my faves. Because it just, it's amazing. It's just getting right into places. Can even like cut new smile lines with it. I love it. Okay, I'm just opening these up a little bit more as well, just for more dramatic effect. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of draw some little lines in this top part. Let me get a file and just file under here. You can do it with an e-file as well. Then we're going to get the buffer. I want to buff. And you don't want to buff too much because you know like the lines from the e-file, those little like cuts, you want to leave them in. I just want to mat everything off. So everything sticks to it when I put the next, when I come to the next stage. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to airbrush this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix a colour. So we want white, more white than anything. And I want the tiniest bit of yellow, I mean the tiniest bit, but tiny bit like that and a tiny bit of that. I'm going to take a silicon tool I definitely need a bit more white I want like a, a bit of an ivory kind of colour to work with first of all it's going to be our base layer I have got the airbrush this is from Amazon. Pop that in. And we're going to do a nice coat of this. That's so cool. How cool. I love a bit of airbrushing. It takes me back. It makes me feel young. Because <laughs> we used to do this. On what? On nails. Really? And the reason that I've got it is the actual paint is for um do yes, doing nails, but I I've sprayed many of other things. Like I've even done pictures and stuff like that. But I've also got ones for body art. Ah, right. 
So I used to do a lot of body off. I take my finger off the trigger and I can let the air dry it. Now not all airbrushes work this way. Normally you have to have your finger on the trigger. And I just want a little bit more yellow in this. So I'm going to get the tiniest amount of yellow. See how that is slightly different? You've got a slightly different tone in there. This is slightly more yellow. So the next stage, I want to use inks. I just feel like the inks are labor will act as a bit of a wash, but I'm not just going to use them like straight out the bottle and whack them on the nail. I'm going to get some foil. So we've got, I've got two pieces because what I'm going to do is for the top section, I want black and warm brown so lots of blacks normally have a lot of blue sort of hue in them so we're going to add brown to it and i'm actually going to use the 3d brush so this has got ipa in it so it's got isopropyl alcohol so you see as we mix these together we get like a like a mucky brown so like a dark mucky brown that's what we want so with that we're going to come in here so you see how it looks dark mucky brown here but then it looks more black on the actual but what the what the brown will do is sort of counteract the blue and make it less blue when it's on the nail so I've filled the, I've popped it in here and then now I've gone into the IPA and I'm tap, tap, tap just to sort of fade it out a little bit, but add a little bit of definition. So I'm going to do that here as well. So add it there into the IPA, tap my brush and then tap, 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 tap. And then I'm using the residue of the colour to sort of sort of low light these little you can see those little markings from the e-file i'm going to highlight them and then i'm going to pull down here can you see how it's still got a residue of mm -hmm. color and that's all you need for this part just want to add a little bit more depth here and bring that down. Then I'm going to get a little bit of the white airbrush paint. I'm going to take a fan brush. I'm just going to dry brush in places. You can use normal, um, you know, just your normal acrylic paint. So I'm just adding a little bit of texture. You know what it reminds me of? You remember when you did the bird skull? Oh, yes. Who was that on? That was on Sue. Sue the Wiccan? Yes. Yeah. It is very much like that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So here's what I'm thinking. Let's get the inks on the go. Bit of black, bit of green and yellow. And I'm going to add some IPA. Give it a mix so we get that slight dirty green because the monster's going to have a lot of uh, scores underneath scores. the nails that's what I'm thinking he doesn't he doesn't sort of like get it cleaned out when he goes for an infill exactly I think a bit of scores under there like it's got a bit of bacteria and because he's had flesh under there rotting away so because it's been rotting away it's all green and Right, I'm going to darken this part here. Now, um, they're going to put these on a glove, aren't they, or something? Like a something or other? Yeah, so right. basically, like, the, the, the monster is, is, like, it's a full monster suit. And right. these will be attached onto the glove. Of the suit. So it's not going to go actually onto the person's nails. So we don't need to do this bit here. Not really, no. No. Let's have a bit of yellow scores down here. <laughs>
Last thing we're gonna do is I'm going to get a cuticle blade, like cuticle knife, whatever you wanna call them, and I'm just gonna pull through some little lines. Do you know like those lines that you get under your nails sometimes? Especially if you're a monster. You know, it's like they might have to claw their way through like steel doors and concrete yes. to get the people, you know, to eat them and stuff. So I think that looks a bit, just get a bit of texture, mm. bit of texture. I'm not going to lie, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. <laughs> I love it. I can't like how it looks like a face. It does a little bit, doesn't it? It makes it a bit on. more creepy, yeah. It's got a hat, <laughs> two eyes and a very large nostrils. <laughs> I like it. So, I've worked really hard today and I've managed to do all 10 nails. The good thing about this is because they get because they're going to be put on to part of the actual costume. We don't have to size them up. We, they don't have to fit the actors' hands. Um whereas when you create nails for, you know, ones that are going to go on somebody you've got to make sure that we fit perfectly haven't you so we're quite fortunate that it doesn't really matter what size they are because mm, that was one concern that i had so i have done all 10 so these are all that they do look like they look like knives made out of mm -hmm. um made out of bones <laughs> like i could see that as a cannibal's necklace Oh my god! <laughs> it does, it looks like that, doesn't yeah, it? it does, yeah. Just want like a nice little bit of rope to go through. Mm -hmm. That looks so cool. I love them. Is the one missing there? I don't know. There's nine there. You're kidding me. Where's the ten? <gasps> For oh. God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> There we are. I hope you like them. Not so glam this time. They're a little bit different. But yeah, they look pretty amazing. I'm pleased with them. It's nice to do something a little bit different. And that's what we can do on this channel. We can do absolutely anything we want, which we love. Um, and I hope you love it too. Everything I've used today will be listed below, as always. Don't forget any discount codes or anything like that, any links, it'll all be in the description box. If you've made it to the end of this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you so much. Thank you for joining us on our little venture of our new YouTube channel. I love you all. You're all just amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll um, see you in the next video. Ta-ra, duck. <laughs>